Detective Comics Annual Issue 1 heads to Paris, where a mugger threatens a couple, only to be killed seconds later by a mysterious skull-faced vigilante. The vigilante continues his war on crime by stopping an armed heist, killing all of the robbers and saying justice is served. In Gotham, Batman is in pursuit of Eraser, who says he's sorry for what he did and it was an accident and he didn't mean to kill that man. Batman says that he killed someone so he will pay, neutralizing the man's powers. The police arrive to arrest him as Jim Gordon meets with Batman, telling him he's there with the rookies to see what they got. Jim says that he's hoping to get to Maine for the summer with Barbara, but Batman says he's staying in Gotham. Batman leaves Gordon and heads home, where Alfred prepares him some breakfast. Bruce asks if he downloaded the international papers, since without Batman Incorporated, he has to monitor international cases if something important happens. Alfred says that he could have gone to Europe on Wayne Enterprises business, but Bruce says that he's tired of that. As Alfred deals with his bat suits, Bruce finds a case, prompting him to fetch the black case book. Getting the book, Bruce says that this contains many of his unexplainable cases and adventures, and thanks to what he saw in the paper, he might be able to solve one, the Reaper. He tells Alfred of Judson Caspian, a Gotham vigilante who was dubbed the Reaper, who was active before Bruce was ever Batman, and when Bruce became Batman and met Judson and his daughter Rachel, he soon had a run-in with Judson, when the man returned from Europe after years of being away. Bruce believes Judson could have been saved, but he refused to, and Batman watched him fall from a building and kill himself, after which he never saw his daughter Rachel again. Alfred says that Judson might not be dead like Bruce thinks he is, so Bruce wants to see what Judson was mixed up to while he was in Europe all those years, as there might be a copycat at play. So they are going to Europe. Assuming his billionaire playboy act, Bruce heads to Crete, where he is met by the fast-driving woman named Sophia, whom he has invited to the Bridalberg meeting. She says she's always dreamed of going to this summit since her family's bank is now in her possession and she is ready to enter the 21st century with it. Arriving at the hotel, they meet with Alfred, who has set up everything for Bruce, who Sophia knows he needs a nap after his fast-paced car ride. As Sophia leaves, Bruce says that she's a good cover story and she's trying to make use of her family's money and use it for good. Later at the summit dinner, Bruce and Sophia meet again and then Bruce is met by a fan, who Bruce tells to go away by giving him a thousand dollar bill. Heading to their car, Sophia leaves Bruce since she wants to go back into the summit to make connections. Bruce goes with Alfred to get to work. Heading into town, Alfred puts on a drunken act to lure out some muggers, who beat him and bait the reaper to them. Before he can kill the men, Batman strikes, surprising the vigilante who Batman tackles into a bar. Reaper says his mission never ended and now any life is expendable in the cause of justice. He destroys the bar and Batman is forced to save the bartender as Reaper gets away, leaving only his skull mask behind. Batman escapes as the police arrive, meeting with Alfred at the Batman Incorporated cave in Pergos, where Bruce looks over the mask, which is sending a signal to a bookstore nearby. Heading there, Batman searches the store and finds a secret tunnel where in which he is attacked by a reaper, having come across the vigilante's lair. Batman beats the villain and smashes his mask off, realizing the man isn't Judson. The man begs Batman to stop, since he was only doing what he told him to. Batman soon finds out who he is, as a screen lights up, revealing that it was all Julian Caspian, Judson's unknown son. Batman never knew about Julian, since he left home in his teens when Rachel was still a baby, and his father all but forgot about him. Because of this, Julian watched his father try and fail to avenge their death of their mother as Reaper, but Julian saw his scope was limited so inspired by Batman, he took his legacy and became a worldwide implement of vengeance. Vengeance he is looking to extract on Batman for all he has taken from him. Batman is attacked by Reaper Prime, an android-like being Julian built in order to do more of his father's mission efficiently. The Reaper turns on the other Reaper agent for failing Julian, but Batman stops it, taking the gunfire head on. Batman says Judson was a murderer, just like what Julian is becoming and the Reapers have become. As a fire begins to burn down the lair, Batman promises that he will find every single one of Reaper's hideouts and end them all. With the Prime Reaper down, Batman goes to leave with the agent, but the Prime Reaper reveals that he has a suicide vest on, saying finality always comes with the Reapers. Batman and the agent escape to the bookstore and seal the door behind them as the Reaper explodes, destroying the whole building. Batman and the Reaper agent manage to escape and Bruce 
Bruce tells Alfred that he saved the agent and Alfred wonders if the story has a happy ending now that that's over, but Bruce isn't so sure yet. Detective Comics Annual Issue 2 was a fun and action-packed annual that saw the return of the infamous Black Casebook, a concept of Batman mythos I really enjoy and I think there needs to be more of them. I feel like this was also set up for a possible arc after Tomasi's Arkham Knight storyline ends next issue, with Reaper being positioned in a way that Batman might need to restart Batman Incorporated in order to deal with it. I'm enjoying these detective centric stories more and more and they are peppered with action as well so they have a little something for everyone who likes different aspects about Batman so I can't wait for more of this story to continue. I'm gonna give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.